Hello everyone, welcome back to the next lecture in the computer network series and today we will see the basics of Cisco Packet Tracer part 3. In part 2 we have seen about hubs, in part 3 we will be focusing on switches. We will see the outcomes of today's session now. In today's lecture we are going to learn the basics of Cisco Packet Tracer using switches. In the previous lecture we have simulated a local area network using hub. In today's lecture we will simulate the local area network using switch. And finally, we will understand the difference between a hub and switch. We will see the definition of a switch. A switch is a networking hardware that connects devices on a computer network to establish a local area network. We have seen in the previous lecture that a hub is also a networking hardware device that is used to set up a local area network. And a switch is also going to do the same. Then what is the difference between a hub and a switch? The main difference between a hub and a switch is Hub has no memory whereas switch has memory. And what the switch is going to do with the help of this memory? In a computer network, every device is identified with the help of IP address and MAC address. So the switch, it is going to store the MAC address in its memory. So switch is going to store the MAC address table in the memory that it has. And is there any other difference between a hub and a switch? Yes, we have a lot of differences and the very important difference is that a hub is a layer 1 device whereas a switch is a layer 2 device that is used for setting up a local area network. We are going to see the difference between the hub and the switch elaborately shortly. We will see the working of a switch now. Just visualize this is the hardware device that is the switch and it has some n number of ports and we can connect n computers to each of these ports. Let's assume there is a sender computer and a receiver computer. We know that every computer has IP address and MAC address. Though these two computers are going to communicate with the help of IP address and MAC address, but for illustration I have taken only MAC address. So this is the sender computer that has a MAC address with all A's and this is the receiver computer that is having the MAC address all B's. Let's assume that these computers are connected to the switch. This computer is connected to this interface or port. This computer is connected to this interface or port. But actually switch uses some numbers in order to identify or recognize each of this individual port or interface. The interface or the port that this computer is connected is 1. This 19 is the interface in which this computer, the receiver computer is connected to. We have already seen that switch has a memory and switch is going to maintain the MAC address table. What is going to be there in the MAC address table? So switch is going to store the MAC address table. So the MAC address table is going to contain the MAC address of the devices that are connected to the interface. If this is interface number 1 and if this computer is connected to this interface, the MAC address of this computer is all A and this AA computer is connected to interface or port number 1. So the MAC address table contains all A. This is the computer which is having the MAC address and which is connected to the port or the interface is 1. And similarly, this computer which all B's as the MAC address is connected to interface number 19. So this is the device or computer that is having the MAC address all B's which is connected to port number 19. And the real difference between the working of a hub and a switch is that the sender wants to send any data. This sender sends the data to port number 1. Now port number 1 has received the data. If this is a hub, it broadcasts that information to all these ports except this port. Since it is a switch, it knows the destination MAC address is connected to which interface. So it just forwards the data or the packet to only that interface and the receiver computer now receives this packet. Hub floods the entire network whereas switch is not flooding the entire network. It sends the data to the exact destination. It doesn't mean that switch is not going to do multicasting or broadcasting. Switch can do unicasting, multicasting and broadcasting but based on the need it does. If it is a hub, it always does broadcasting. So far we have seen the working of the switch. We will see how to create a local area network using Cisco Packet Tracer now. How to create a local area network using switch in CPT. CPT means Cisco Packet Tracer. So to do that, we will have to open the Cisco Packet Tracer and take any switch. I will prefer Cisco 2960 switch. Click on the switch and bring the switch to the workspace. Now click on the PCs or the end devices. I will bring five end devices here. One, two, three, four and five end devices. Now we need cables in order to connect this PC and the switch. 
Now let's see how the switch actually looks like. Click on the switch and see the rear view of the switch. We can see there are 24 ports in the switch and these are called fast ethernet ports and these two are gigabit ethernet ports. They are called as ports or interfaces. So these ports are different from the port numbers that we refer in the transport layer. The port or the port numbers or the interface numbers that we refer here are identifying the individual port or the interface. These terms ports and interfaces are used interchangeably but no problem. When we talk about ports in layer 2, they are hardware ports. Let me close this now. When we place the mouse over the switch, we can see that this computer has 24 fast ethernet ports and 2 gigabit ethernet ports. The numbers assigned for each of these ports are fast ethernet 0 bar 1, 0 bar 2, 0 bar 3 up to 0 bar 24 and gigabit ethernet 0 bar 1 and 0 bar 2. So we have in total 26 ports that are there. We can connect 26 devices. If we want, we can extend that also. Now we will take a cable and connect the computer and the switch. For doing this, we have to go to the cable section, that is the connection sections, and we are required to go to the Ethernet straight through cable because we are going to connect a computer with a switch and both are different devices. So we need straight through cables to do this. We I'll provide a shortcut for you now and this is the automatically choosing connection type. Just press Ctrl and press on this and you need not to choose fast Ethernet port or the port in the device as well as in the switch, in the computer as well as in the switch. Just click and click. So it automatically connects the device to the switch. I have connected cables to the switches. Now you can see that these computers are ready for communication because it is now in green color. Whereas this switch is doing some activities, maybe it is learning the MAC address of the devices that are connected and it is still in the amber color. It will take some time for the switch to turn this amber color into green color. Now the switch is ready for communication. So far we have taken a switch and we have taken some PCs and we have connected these PCs to the switch. Now we are required to assign IP address to every computer or PCs but switch does its operation based on MAC address only not with the help of IP address. We will now see it practically. Let me go on to the PC, go to the desktop, IP configuration. Let me assign the IP address as 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 to this computer. And let me assign 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 to the second PC that is connected. 10.10.10.2 And let me assign 10.10.10.3 .10 .10 to the third PC. This is 10.10.10.3 And 10.10.10.4 .10 .10 be the IP address for the fourth PC. 10.10.10.4 .10 And finally it is 10.10.10.5 .10 for the fifth PC. 10.10.10.5 Now we have assigned IP address to all the individual computers that are connected to. We will see the IP address of the third PC. Let me click on the PC, command prompt, click IP config. We can see this is the IP address of the third PC. It is 10.10.10.3. Now we will send a packet from one PC to another PC and we understand that if it is a hub, it does broadcasting always. Since it is a switch, it does only unicasting. Let me take a packet, let this be the source computer, let this be the destination computer. We can observe the communication is successful. We have two modes of operations to carry out the task. This is real time mode and this is simulation mode. Let me click on the simulation mode and let me take a packet and I will place it on the first computer. It means this is the source computer and let me place it on the destination computer that this is the destination computer. The IP address of the source computer is 10.10.10.1 and the IP address of the destination computer is 10.10.10.4. For readability, let me click on the label and I will just mark it as 10.10.10.1. This is the label and this is 10.10.10.4. This is just a label. It has no role to play with the communication. Now let me click on the capture bar forward. Computer has sent the data to the switch. The switch forwards the data to which the destination is connected to. The replay is also unicasting, unlike broadcasting in the hub. This is what the working principle of a switch is. I will show you how to see the MAC address table in the switch. To do this, just click on the switch, go to the CLI mode, press enter, type EN to enable and type show mac hyphen address hyphen table that is show MAC address table and the switch has a memory and it stores this MAC address table. 
So far we have seen how to create a local area network using switch in Cisco Packet Tracer. It is always good to know the difference between a hub and a switch. We will see it now. The difference between a hub and a switch is that a hub is a layer 1 device. It means it works at the physical layer. Whereas a switch is a layer 2 device. It works at the data link layer. We have already seen that hub has no memory. So there is no chance for the hub to store the MAC address related table. Whereas a switch has a memory and it stores the MAC address table. A hub is not an intelligent device because it has no memory in order to store the MAC address table. Whereas switch is an intelligent device because it has memory and it stores the MAC address table. Hub always floods the network due to broadcasting behavior. Whenever any packet is received by the hub, it always broadcasts to the all the ports except the one from which it has received the packet. Whereas switch can do unicasting, multicasting and broadcasting based on the need. Since hub does broadcasting always, security risks are very high in case of hubs because there are chances for the internal threats. Whereas the security risks are low in case of switch. So hubs are less efficient and switches are more efficient. And we know that hubs always work in half duplex mode. It means hubs can send data as well as receive data but not both at the same time. Whereas switch can do sending and receiving at the same time. And this is the comparison table between the hub and the switch. And that's it guys. So far we have learned the basics of Cisco Packet Tracer using switch. And we simulated a local area network using switch. And we also understood the difference between a hub and a switch. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.